This wonderful day, one continuous day that He has made for us all to rejoice and be glad in it. We thank God for this wonderful time, for this wonderful moment that we are having as we continue to experience His fullness, His mercy. We thank God for this time, we thank God for His grace, we thank God for this great appointment. Let's just say it's, it's still one continuous day that the Lord God Almighty has made for us. For we all to rejoice and be glad. We welcome you, we greet you, wherever you are, whichever part of the world, whichever part of the continent, whichever part of the city, wherever you are watching us from, wherever you are streaming us live from, we greet you with love of the Father. We greet you with the everlasting love, such love that we have received from the Father. We greeted men and women of God, brothers and sisters in Christ. We greet you all over the world. We greet all you saints. Thank you so much for praying for us. Thank you so much for praying with us. I thank you for allowing yourself to become a channel of blessing, the temple of the Holy Spirit itself that many are receiving this divine grace. Thank you so much. We love you all. May the Lord God Almighty continue to bless you all the more. I'd like to greet you uh, uh, from, from my father, Prof. Leseko Dane. Papa, we love you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. I uh, thank you for this wonderful platform that you keep giving to us all. I bring you greeting from him, blessed saint. I also like to acknowledge all the men and women of God, my brothers, disciples of our Father. Thank you so much, each and every one of you. Thank you so much. We love you. We love you. I uh, will love you with the love of the Father. Thank you so much. Our uh, blessed saint, thank you for joining us on this wonderful Sunday morning. It is a Sunday morning in this part of the world that we are in. And we have come together to worship. We have come together to give thanks. We have come together to acknowledge his presence in our midst. We have come together to have a, a wonderful ministration of his presence. And as such, we like to begin with our intercession, this is it. But before then, I'd like also uh, to uh, acknowledge everyone, everyone that is in the house. I uh, would thank God for this one continuous fellowship. It's still the year of divine fellowship, this is it. It's still the year of divine companionship. It's still the year of divine romance. And all thing about God is divine because God is divine. And God wants to draw us to himself. God drawing, drawing us to himself. God's making us to be divine on earth. It, it is impossible for, for we that are, that are here on earth to reveal what is, what is in heaven. If we are here to enter into the divine, we must enter into that divine. God wants us to have that divine life. It is his purpose. It is his intention. God is not a man. If God has intended something for us, God will surely make it to happen. Ephesians chapter 4, from verse 11 to 13, said God intended purpose. Not the gift. The gift is not the intended purpose. 
But the gift is a yardstick, meaning it's, it's, it's a roadmap, it's a path for one to enter, for one to enter, for one to enter into the divine purpose, into the divine purpose that God has set for us. That Christ is a divine purpose. God wants us to reach that standard height so that we may see like God wants us to see. So we may hear as God wants us to hear. So we may carry out the divine plan on this earth. Because for art is in heaven, so it is on earth. And what is in heaven come into our life through our heart. So that is why when one enter into that divine, there's what we call holy jealousy, godly jealousy. Enter into the oneness for me. Oneness say, preserve what you've received from him. God is jealous with his oneness. However, serve with selflessness. You serve with what? With selflessness. You don't serve keeping what you have received from the Father. You serve with it so that many also will come into where you are. It is important to understand the role of an intercessor. It is important to know that you are no longer fighting or trying or adequating your life. But no, the life of others matters. He said, when you regard others better than yourself, when you regard others better than yourself, when you regard the pain of others better than yourself, when you regard the situation of others, meaning you, you take concern of, the, of what others are going through by interceding for them, by praying for them. You might be going through worse, but listen, carry those pain of others. Carry their pain on your body. Carry it on your shoulder. This is what Jesus was doing without food. At chapter 5, he said, day after day, morning after morning, house after house, city after city, he keep going, taking the gospel. The gospel was going from house to house. At chapter 9, he saw the way they were. They were, with, they, they, they were all, they were all in need of something. They were all in need of something. He saw how they were. And what happened? Jesus was moved with compassion. He was moved with compassion. He was not thinking about himself. He was thinking about them, them. This is what being an intercessor is. An intercessor consigned he or herself with the needs of others. Putting the need of others first ahead of yours. Putting others' need first ahead of yours. When others matters before yours, it's very, very important that we understand this, as I said. It's very, very important that we know this. It's very, very important that we stand on this ground, on this platform, and share the pain of others, share the burden of others, share their pain, share their burden. This motor fasting that our Father has taken us through, the Spirit of God has taken us through. Listen, we understand that humility, love, perseverance, patience, not for ourselves, but for the nation. So meaning, when we are doing that, we are doing exactly what Jesus commanded because Matthew chapter five, when you take it from verse 13 to 17, you understand, say, we are the salt and the light of the world. Salt and the light of this world. So each, each country, each city, each nation, each rural area or this or urban area that you find yourself in, each home that you are in, you are the light and the salt of that place. Meaning the foundation that makes the place to stand is in and it comes from you. So meaning you must not relent on praying. You must not relent on interceding. You must continually interceding for the nation, interceding for that hope, interceding for that, for that, uh, uh, for that community. Many communities are in disarray today. Poisonous drugs has come into the community. Waywardness has come into the community. All kind of crimes that one can envision of has come into community. Why? Because their root is not firmly rooted. The root is not firmly rooted. Just want us to quickly take this uh, uh, verse before we. Before we pray, blessed state. Psalm 
this is something that we must understand at all times. The Father of us, and His love is enough for us. I'm just going to read quickly Jeremiah 31. We touched it last week, like two weeks ago. Jeremiah 31. I'm going to start from verse 1. I'm using the amplified version. At that time, says the Lord, will I be God of all the families of Israel? They will be my people. Thus says the Lord, the people who survived the sword found favor in the wilderness, place of exile. The wilderness is called place of exile. When Israel sought out to find rest, the Lord appeared from of the old to me, Israel, saying, Yes, I have loved you with an everlasting love. Therefore, with loving kindness have I drawn you and continued my faithfulness to you. So God is faithful to those who remain with him. God is faithful to those who trust in his word. God is faithful to those who hold on to his principle. God is faithful to those who continually believe in his word. God is faithful to those who continue to hold on to his unfailing glory. It is faithful. That's why. That's why when we are, are, are when we are called blessed, chosen to become intercessor, we do not go waging war against the physical. We do not go waging war against what is seen. This, our, our battle of warfare is not carnal. Our battle of warfare is not carnal. So if there is an everlasting love. That is in, in, in within us. There is no way we should go, just go uh, going uh, and go into a battle with fighting with our hands or with, with tools. No. What is our weapon of warfare? What kind of warfare it is? What kind of warfare it is that is the Anita says is standing on? On what platform it is? Let's just go to Second Corinthians. We'll quickly get this. Now, 2 Corinthians chapter 10, I'm starting from verse 3. For though we walk, live in the flesh, we are not carrying out our welfare according to the flesh using mere human weapons. We do not carry our what? Carry our welfare. You say we do not carry on our warfare, warfare according to the flesh using mere human weapons. The, 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 the guns, the, the sword, the knives, the blade. When war broke out in nations, as we have seen, as we have heard, report keeps floating in, report keep flooding in, bombs and nuclear weapons that are being used, guns and all kind of guns that are being used. But we are not we are not waging war against such war. The world that we are talking about, that we are waging, is the world of the mind, the world that perpetrated that that we have seen in the physical to happen. Before the war that broke out in some part of Europe, before the war that broke out in some part of Africa, before the war that broke out in some part of North and South America, even in Asia, even in part of the countries that we are living, before those arguments began, something, something triggered that argument. Something led to that argument, something led to that hatred, something led to that war. It is that thing that we are dealing with. It is that thing that we, we have issue with. That's why we do not see things as mere human. Now verse 4 says, for weapons of our warfare are not physical weapons of flesh and blood. Remember, there's an everlasting love, love that conquered all. Lord that overcame all. He said he overcame all. Love overcame it all. Love overcame it all. So now, for the weapons of our welfare, it are not physical weapons of flesh and blood, but they are mighty. They are mighty before God for the overthrow and destruction of strongholds. So we are going to be interceding and overthrowing every stronghold every rulers, every principality that has entangled the mind of the flesh, many minds of the flesh, many minds are not set up. They are not set up on things from above. 
when the minds are set on things from below, and here comes hatred, hence comes uh, 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 killing, destructive, here, hence come greediness, wickedness. Verse 5 says, Inasmuch we refute arguments and theories and reasonings, and every proud and lofty thing that itself up against the true knowledge of God. Say, so inasmuch we refute, meaning we are not part of it. We are standing on our ground. We refuse to it. When the government is saying this, we refuse to refute. it. When leaders are saying this, we refuse to refute. it. Say, so inasmuch as we refuse this. Now, let's, let's understand this. It says, and we lead every thought and purposes away captive into the obedience of Christ, the Messiah, the anointed one. So now, because we refuse, meaning we refuse to be part of that yoke, that yoke, that yoke, that interest, that yoke, that captivity do not have any, any hold over our life. Do not have any hold over our life. So now when we intercede, what do we do? We held it captive. We held it captive and we bring it into the obediency. Obedience. So now we must keep what we must keep interceding, keep bringing the obediency of those leaders, those nations, those communities, those society, those family. We keep bringing their obedience into the things of God. Into the what into the things of God. We keep doing this. This is a this is a spiritual exercise that we intercessor must give with encouragement. I repeat again from verse 5, 2 Corinthians chapter 10, from verse 5. Say, inasmuch as we refute arguments and theories and reasonings and every proud and lofty things that sets itself up against the true knowledge of God. And we lead every thought. We lead every thought. So many thought of greediness, thought of wickedness, thought of destruct, destructions, killing, raping, mass murder. Uh, 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 human trafficking, internet fraudulent activities, is drug to the children, drug in the communities. So we are going to be leading those thoughts. We are going to help captive even even the mind of addiction. See, when you when you when you see an addict, you find them speaking to themselves. Most of them, you find them looking on the ground, speaking to themselves. There is a voice, there is this voice that commune to them, that constantly leads them astray, leads them into what that act that they perpetrated. So that voice is what we are, we have issue with, not them per se, but that voice that leads them into that captive. So we are bringing their mind and holding that captive captive. So, so, so the grace is upon us, right? There's an everlasting love that the Father has drawn us to. The Father has drawn us to the everlasting love. So we are more than a conqueror. We have overcome because he loved us and he has drawn us into that love. So now he says, in as much as we refute arguments, theories, and reasonings, and every proud and lofty things that set itself up against the true knowledge of God, and will lead every thought and purpose away Active into the obedience of Christ the Messiah, the anointed one. So we are bringing minds into the Messiah. We are bringing minds, just as the one says, Colossians 3 says, set your minds on things from above. So we are bringing minds to be set up on things from above, taking minds away from below, taking minds away from every captivity that are being used against the mind of the people, bringing it into the obedience of the Father. Yes, it is done. Yes, it is possible. Yes, it is doable. Yes, it is possible. Yes, it is doable. Do you believe what you have received? Do you believe that this is possible? Do you be Jesus has the blind man? Do you believe you can see? 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 You can see? I say, yes, I believe. Your belief has made you. If you believe that you are a chosen intercessor, remember, remember this this day had already been predestined. Ephesians chapter one from verse five. Verse four, the same Ephesians one. Say he chose us in the world before all things. Verse, verse five, say, he predestined us. 
he predestined us. So he spoke of us to Moses. God spoke about us to Moses. I have my own generation, my own generation. Where were we when God was speaking about us? We were in his heart. That is why in from our heart, as we are going to be praying right now, we pray from our heart. And what is in our heart is abundance, is life. It's what that arrests rulers. It's what that arrests principality. It's what that break down every stronghold that is in the mind of those leaders that have been placed at the at the position of authority. Many leaders that have been placed at that position of authority, they are not there because of election process. They are not there because people elected them to be there. They are not there because of constitution. No, they are. They were there. They are there because God permitted them to be there. So we are going to be praying to the Father, who is the authority of all authorities. So we are going to be praying to the king of glory and we are going to be declaring and bringing minds of captive into the captivity to the obediency of the world setting the minds setting the minds into the world into the mind of christ first corinthians 2 verses he said we have received the mind of christ so let no one in that anyone from receiving such glory let no one enter anyone from receiving such might let no one in anyone from receiving such grace let no one in anyone from receiving such divine so it is our duty as intercessor from wherever you are right now, as we are going to be praying right now, open your heart, open your mind, and pray to the Father. Pray to the unseen God. Listen, you are praying to the unseen God, but he knows your needs. He knows what you need. He knows what you, what, what you desire. So don't worry about what you are going through. Don't worry about what you need right now. Worry yourself. Constrain yourself with what you are being instructed to do right now, which is be the intercessor that you were chosen for to intercede for nations, intercede for presence, intercede for those in hospital, pray for those in hospital, pray for those boys and girls, pray for the schools, pray for every institution, every institution, every institution that is being constituted to serve humanity. Pray for those institutions, pray for all the institutions, the economy, the banking. The, the, the department, each department, the correctional department, pray for all the prison yard, pray for all those places. Pray, 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 continue to pray. Every of these centers, pray. All the jumps, pray. Pray for the grace of God. Pray for pray for the those who have been abandoned in that many have been abandoned in all the jumps. Many have not seen their loved ones. You see, the pain that even the pain that they have been, the, the, the pains that they are experiencing, it's not because of, of being weakened in the body, no, because there is no joy in their heart. There is no happiness. There is no peace. Why? They felt abandoned. So we pray against such. Let there be remembrance. Let there be memorial. Let there be memorial. So that those who have placed their loved ones, their grandmothers, their grandfathers in those uh, auspice, uh, uh, old age homes, they will remember them and go and pay them a visit. So right now, Blessing, we encourage you to join us as we pray. Father, Lord Almighty, we give you thanks. We give you all the glory. We worship you. We thank you for this day, O oh Lord. We thank you for your love. We thank you for your mercy. We thank you for your faithfulness. <laughs> Zebra te katura, zebra katalira, shete kista kuri, shete libra ata, shete lika ata, shete bra kusi, zebra da kusta, zete te 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 kuri, zete te katira, zete te katushte kilira, eke kusta kalira, eke desis kalira, zebra katushte lika ushta kalira. Eshe tatatura, eshe te katuste kira lure, embra katuste kalire, eshe tatuste lika usta kura, e tubraka antisira, zebra katuste kira, zebra kuste, zebra at, zedesh te sura, zedesh ka at, zedesh te lure lika usta kure, e katatuste kalire, e shatuste kalire. E que te assusta e libra caduste, lista canure, zebra ca ata, deste zebra duste cura, e valduste quibra custalira, e che te assusta e pica, e que debra duste custa lebra e custa calere ente, che te canura, che debra ata, che debra duste puxa lica a custa quere, che te assusta e quira, che te discalira, che te lebra duste puxa lisa a dura que la ata sure, pra cadeste, lista, dentro da dura, rata sure, che te 
Jeta dusta, je debra at ze tista dura neka at usta kele, je tatika dura, je ketika at, je tista kuste libra usta kalera, je je tatusta kira, je ketista kuste libra at usta kalera, je keta tata dure, je kete tata lira, je kata tatusta kele usta kura ete sira, zibra dosta kira, zibra dosta kira, zi she kita kuste lika at sira, kata tatura, za kata tira, za kata tista. Kita lebre un shakaler, shete disa kuti, shete lebre at, she disa dushte libra un shakaler, ne predushta kaler, e kata dushte kira ba antisure, shete libra kushte lika antisure, shete lebre dushte kira kusha antisure. Thank you Lord, thank you Lord, thank you for making us a aroma of life, O Lord. Thank you for making us the strengthens of the divine Lord. Thank you for the divine grace that you have committed upon our life, Lord. As we continue to intercede for nations, we pray for praise. We pray for leaders, Lord. We declare your glory upon them. We pray against that that wages against their hearts. We pray against that that wages were against their hearts. We pray against that that wages were against their minds. Shall take a tour in this era. We come against every seed of corruption. Have a tour in this era. Seeds of corruption, seeds of evil wickedness, seeds of wickedness. Seeds of greatness shall take from in this era. We offer such from their heart. We offer such from their mind. She tata taku te leke eti su. She te debre tu sa tu ta kalibre ka kosi kole eti. She si ta tu ta she debre tu ta deke de zura azura ka eti sirem. O she ta kalibre ka hande. E she ti ta tu te debre eti su. We offer such from their heart, O Lord. We offer such from their mind, O Lord. We declare and we help captain. E she ti ka tu re eti sirem. Tata we bring them loose from every struggle, every barrier of hatred. We bring them loose, we bring the obediency into the word of God. We bring the obediency of those leaders, those presidents, those that are seated at that position of authority. We bring the obediency into the word of God. Every nation, every leaders of presentation, every leaders of every organization, even in the public domain and the private. Sector, we bring all their minds, we bring all their heart into the obedience of the word of truth, into the word of life, into the word of the birth, into the word of Christ. Shatika Dure, 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 Zibra katushte, zibra kaate. Je debra kushte, je debra ati, je debra kure entisa. We thank you, Lord. We thank you, God. 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 We that I tell the people who can live in this world, freedom has come upon their life, freedom has come upon their body. She tell the people in this world, she tell the people who stay pure, freedom has located them. Ika ta 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 ta, ika ta 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 ta, ika ta 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 ta. Let the people who can live in this world, let the people who can live in this world, freedom has located them. Ika ta 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 ta. Freedom has located their body. Hey, shit, that's true. Hey, shit, that's true. Hey, but this is true. Freedom has located their body. Freedom has located their body. Their health is restored. Their life is restored. Hey, Katika, Kushta, Lika, and Sura. Every old is broken. Every old is broken. The seed of the seed is broken. The seed of the seed is broken. Every inherited sickness, every inherited disease, every inherited infirmity that has held their body, that has held their organ, they are being breaking loose, Shakura in the Sira. Wherever they are, wherever they've been placed. Whichever of that they are, after the labor whichever word, even in ICU, the word of the Lord break them loose. If practice the labor in the sinner, the word of Lord break them loose. If katature get be ente, if rakatush te kumba ruwe ente break the anti spirit. The word of Lord break them loose from that hospital bed. The light, the light of God break them loose from that chain of sickness. If katuka in the sinner, every chain of infirmity, we break them loose. Shati prakure, we break them loose. 
Eka Kure Katika Atisura, Shetika Ture Eteka Hush Takalure, Esheta Kush Lebre Etisla, Eka Tush the Libre Etisla. We continue to pray for every orphanage job, Eka Kure Etisla. We cover every orphanage job by the blood of Christ, Eka Ture Ebra Kanta, Shatika Ture Etista Kire Ebra Ante. We come against that evil of human trafficking, evil hand of human trafficking, every human trafficking, Shature Etisira Kahante, every human trafficking that has been committed against those children, oh Lord, we pray against it. I put the light The light of God exposed every evil deed of human trafficking. The light, light of God exposed evil deed of human trafficking that has been done, perpetrated against the boys and girls, Shati Brakure and Tisira. The evil hand is exposed. The evil behind it is exposed. The evil behind it is exposed. Wherever syndicate, whichever part of the universe, whichever part of the world you're hiding, the light of God exposed. But there is nothing that can be hidden from the light of God. Nothing can hide from the light of God. The light of God exposed. She takure ebra kusha ante. The light of God exposed. She takure etisira. The light, light of God exposed. Father, we thank you. We give you all the glory. We continue to pray for all those that are suffering from every form of addition in their life. Addition that continue to wage war against them. Addition that continue to bring them into subject of protection. Oh Lord, we pray against that addition that has imprisoned their thought. We pray against the addition that has imprisoned their mind. We pray that against the addition that has come into their heart. And we cleanse and we bring that addition into the obedience of the world. We seize captive of that addition. Whichever and whatever they may be in their homes, under the bridge, on the streets, whatever they are, even in the bushes, Father, we pray for them. The word of the Lord that breaks barrier, locate them to set them free, to give them life of abundance in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We thank you, Lord. We thank you, King of Glory. As we continue to cover all the schools with the precious preventing blood, we pray for all the students, we pray for all the letters, we pray for all the teachers, we pray for all the lecturers. We thank you, King of Glory, as we continue to talk your word over their lives in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Your word reign, who shall take it Your word reign, O Lord. Your word reign, O Lord. Your word reign. Your word penetrate into their heart, O Lord. Your word penetrate into their mind, O Lord. We seize captive every wrong thought, every wrong thought from below. Every wrong talk from the below, we seize the captive, Shetibra Ushteka Ante, and we bring it to the obedience of the world, where the mind is set on above, from this, from above, where the Christ is every seated, Shetibra Pure and Kalushta Kaleri, Shetibra Dushta Zibra Kahate, Zika Dushta Zure Lebre and Tusura, Shetelibra, Shetedure, Shetika Dushta Lika Ante Sira. Eshe tatakura, eshe tatadira, eshe tikisa pushte libra pushte entisura, bradesha zura, bradiska ata, zedebra dushe dure entisura, brika dushte libra antisura, e kadista kure, e kadebra ata, eshe tatura libra pushte entisura. We thank you, Lord, as we continue to pray for the body of Christ. We pray for the oneness from above that has come into the body of Christ. We pray for unity, she prakushte e kadure entisura, e prakushte lebre ushta kalira, e katatura e katatura. E catista sura libra alta sura, chata libra, chatature, chata libra pure e tisura. We continue to pray for all the rabbinites from all over the world. E catus de lebre e tisura, e libra caata, e libra cadure, e lebre duce zura, lebra cadusta, zebra desce zura, ze chali cadura libra caata, chatanura, chatatire, chata libra custa lica atusura, e catatura, e catatire, e catista zebra custa lica atusura. We thank you, Lord, we thank you. King of glory. We worship you, O Lord. All glory belongs to you, O Lord. We say, I is that to your only name, O Lord. Thank you for your word that you are watching, O Lord, to see that you perfect your word, O Lord. Thank you for bringing perfection upon minds, upon hearts, O Lord. Thank you for setting every yoke of captivity free. Thank you, Lord God Almighty, as word, e katura et sira, as penetrated, God, into the heart, into the minds of those that have been placed at that position of authority, Lord, that they will continue and begin to serve humanity in kind. E katura lebre et sura. We give you all the glory of Father, we thank you, Lord. We magnify your name. We exalt your name, O Lord. We continue to bow to your only presence, O Lord. We worship you, O Lord. We worship you, King of Glory. We worship you, Abba Father. We worship you, O Lord. There is none like you, O Lord. There can never be any like you, O Lord. You alone are worthy of our worship, O Lord. We give you all the glory. We give you all the honor. We thank you, Lord. Thank you for, for the freedom that has come upon nations, O Lord. Thank you for freedom that has come upon families, O Lord. Families that are going through all kinds of severe issues of life. Thank you, mighty God, for freedom has located them. Thank you, Abba Father. As we pray for families, O Lord, we declare that your presence remain upon that household, O Lord. 
every ancestral beliefs that are entangled in that family, Lord, we declare your presence, O Lord. For light and darkness never mix. We declare your presence to remain on that family, Lord. As we continue to break yoke, we continue to break every, every ancestral lineage from that family. We break them loose in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We thank you, Lord, in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Your presence is heaven to me. Your presence is heaven to me. Your presence is heaven to me. Your is heaven to me. Your presence is heaven. Your presence is heaven to me. Hallelujah. Indeed, his presence is able to us. For there is none like him in this whole world. He may Lord is Lord. He may Lord is our King. And his presence, his presence is ever to us. We give him all glory. We give him all honor. For all the glory and all the honor belongs to him and no one else. We thank God for this wonderful time that we have spent. This beautiful time of refreshing. So continue to give him thanks all the more. Glory be all to his holy name. Let us say thank you so much. Thank you, everyone. We give God all the glory. Let us appreciate the kingdom of God. Let us appreciate our master. Uh, thank you so much. Thank you all. Thank you for uh, allowing pray for us. Thank you for praying for us. Thank you for praying with us. I thank you for allowing yourself to be a vessel unto us. I would believe that many lives have been set free right now. We believe that many minds have been set free. We believe many minds and many hearts have come into the divine presence of the Father. Say, the presence of the Lord brings about freedom and liberty. We believe many minds have been liberated. And we believe that now the minds of those that have been placed, those that have been entrusted with a position of authority, and they will begin now to serve humanity in kindness and faithfulness according to the will of the Father. We say, to God be the glory. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Right now, Blessed Saint, uh, we are moving forward. Uh, we are moving forward. Uh, we're going to go straight to the message of the sermon and the Spirit of God this week. So I want to encourage you to get your notes, get your Bible notes, get your Bibles right now as the word we talked right now. And let's receive the revelation as the Spirit of God will lead us to. Uh, what matters here is that the word, the word, the word, God uses whoever God wants. And his word to be heard, or his word to be taught, or his word to be preached. So if anyone that has here revelation or revelation to say, whoever has here, let he or she listen to the word. You have ear, let your ear listen to the word. Because God lives in his word. God lives in this world. Issues have been addressed by the world. See, battles are won by the world. Issues, many, there, there might be, obviously, there might be concern that you are having, thoughts that you are perceiving, not knowing how to come about it. They are usually addressed by the world. But you listen, a good listener, eh? a good listener stands victorious against any adversary. What is a good listener? One that listens. One that listens. One that listens. So there, there are many words, but there is one word. So when I say many words, you give you seek advices. And you go with your advice. You will end up being the victim of your own doing. But when you are open to the word, as the Bible is instructed, that whoever has an ear, open your ear, incline your ear for the message. 
The message is coming from God. Where is God? God is the word. It's the word that became flesh. So one that has been incarnated into the word, qualified to reveal God in the word. It's not English, it's spirit. It's not vocabulary. It is, it is not English, it's not vocabulary, it is spirit. It is spirit. So open your ears to this message that we're about to receive. And we, and we, and we know, and we believe, and we continue to trust the Lord of glory for his plan, which is the master plan for your life. I have thought, I have planned for your life to prosper you, not to harm you. So we believe in the plan of the Father. We believe it is to prosper you as you are about to receive this word. May your heart welcome this word and may this word manifest as you receive it. May it cause you to manifest. May it cause you to, may it cause the world to reveal it, itself to you. May the world reveal itself to you all the more. May you come into and remain where it wants you to be as you are about to receive this word. So I'll hand it over to my sister. Also, Jasri, the Spirit of God is going to speak to her. For all of us to be blessed. So get your Bible, get your book. The Spirit of God to bless us. Thank you so much. Hallelujah. Greetings, viewers at home. Uh, greeting was who are with us right now. Amen. Those of the households. Amen. Those of the households. Amen. Amen. We are not happy. <laughs> Hallelujah. Greetings as far as you watch us. We are going to be as as we eat together, as we are partaking from the divine. Hmm. You are going to be blessed. Hallelujah. Every door that you think it's open, you will see, you think it's closed, you will see it open right now in the name of Jesus. As we walk into this path together, we, we are not unaware of the devil's schemes. We acknowledge our Father, Professor Lisa Kodani. <laughs> We are not unaware of the devil's schemes because the devil's scheme will say, Don't acknowledge not you, much. it's not God. Yeah. Hmm? Mm. yeah. <laughs> that is the devil's scheme. That's the devil's scheme. It will say, Don't acknowledge yeah. him, he is not God. Not God. Hallelujah. Amen. And those who, who will believe that, it's because they missed Revelation 21. Mm. Right. Now the dwelling, the dwelling of, of God, God is now. now. When Jesus was tempted, mm. Mm, when he was tempted, the devil said, change the stones uh, into bread mm. because the devil could perceive that he's hungry. Yeah. Jesus didn't change that. He said, I will give you everything. You will never lack there. But because Jesus knew the word, because he was word, he was mm. the word. Amen. Amen. He said, The man does not live by bread alone. Amen. Amen. He quoted the scripture. Hmm? Mm. Hmm? He quoted the scripture. When I say I acknowledge my father, Professor Niseho Daniel. Uh. Who is mentoring us in this revelation, in this mysteries? I am aware of the scripture of Paul that says, uh, Be imitators of me as I imitate God. Hallelujah. I'm not mistaken. I am not family. Hallelujah. We love you, Daddy. We love you so much. We love you when you give us the beatings. We take them. The marks, we take them. Hallelujah. 
because love chastised. Love doesn't fumble. Amen. You feed us with the words. You train us. You give us beatings. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Because you love us so much. We want to say this morning, we love you so much. We appreciate you. Raponites all over the world, we love you so much. Amen. Amen. We love us. So we, we, are, we are going to eat together. Amen. Paul says, be imitators of God. Be imitators of me. Hallelujah. We look at uh, uh, Moses. Moses imitated Joshua. Hallelujah. He imitated Joshua even when he was in, 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 in a war, when there was a fight. We hear that uh, Moses was in the old age, but Moses was lifting his hands like this. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You cannot say, I do not have a father. I do not have a leader that I look unto. Hallelujah. Because we see the old Elisha imitated Elijah. Hallelujah. Imitated Elijah. Hallelujah. We imitate Professor Niseko Daniel. Hallelujah. Uh, Colossians 3 says, uh, seek ye the things from above. <laughs> This word came to life to me one day when I read this word. Can you read this? I'm almost speaking. Colossians chapter 3, verse 2. Amen. It's uh, let's look unto the things that are from above. Because we are from above, we are not from below. Hallelujah. Amen. From this one. We read from the book of Colossians, chapter 3, verse 1. Mm. Since then you have been raised with Christ. You have been raised. Hallelujah. You are in another level. You are not in the same level. Since then you have been raised. Eh? You have been promoted. Hallelujah. You are no more in the same rank. Amen. Can you come again? Colossians chapter 1, verse 1. Since then you have been raised with Christ. Mm. Set your hearts on things above. You have been raised, not alone. <laughs> you have been set in another level with him. Set your minds on things from above. Amen. Hmm? Continue. Since then you have been raised with Christ. Set your hearts on things above. Mm. Christ mm. seated at the right hand of God. Mm. Set your minds on things above, mm. not on earthly things. Not on earthly things. Go to First Corinthians 11, from verse 1. Since then, you have been shifted. Since then, something happened. Amen. Set your minds on things from above. Set your hearts on things from above. Where he is seated. Amen. How, uh, how do I come to set my mind on things from above? One may ask. Hallelujah. You can read First Corinthians 11, chapter 1. Follow my example. Follow my example. Ah, oh, Shandaba. Follow my example. Because you have been raised together. You are not raised alone. You are not alone. 
<laughs> there is this person who is next to you, who is taking you by the hand. Isaiah 45. I take you by the hand. Hmm? I walk with you. In the waters, I am there. In the fire, I am there. On the mats, I am there. Raise your mind. Think about the things that are from above. Hear what? Follow my Follow my example. Ha, now, Paul. Here is Paul. Paul now is acting as a, a, a sacrifice lamb. Do you understand? Imitating Christ himself because Christ made, uh, he made himself a sacrifice. He died for everyone. Yes, Paul now. Paul says what? Follow my Follow my example. Whatever that I call, I'm doing, do it. Hmm? We follow our father, Professor Lisako Daniel. If he says, let's eat Christ, we'll eat Christ. If he says, uh, let's uh, close the church, we are going to close the church because we are imitating him. Look, Moses imitated jo Joshua, imitated Moses. Elijah, you call yourself Elijah, Elisha, but Elisha imitated Elijah. Timothy imitated Paul. We hear him saying, Paul, my beloved son. Hmm? Paul, you're Timothy, my son. <laughs> you don't become a son by speaking. You become a son because you imitate the father. Hmm? When you are imitating the father, obviously you've seen the signs that the father imitates Christ. And Christ is in the Father. The Christ is in you because it's in the Father. We read in Matthew, uh, he says, John the Baptist, he sends the, the, the disciple, his disciple, go and ask him if he is the Messiah, if he is the one. Before he said to the Lord, you must give me a sign to say if it's him, he has arrived. So when he baptized him, he was the only one who saw the dove. He was the only one who got the confirmation. But on the road, because he didn't walk with him, he didn't imitate him. Doubt script in. And he asked, he said to the disciple, Go, go ask him. Hey, I might have imagined maybe he was tired. Maybe he was saying, the one that I'm preaching about, when is he coming? Hmm? It's like the Samaritan woman when he said, we are waiting for the Messiah. When the Messiah come. <laughs> but, but I like our Lord and Savior when they come and say, we are sent by John. Just imagine, we are sent by the one you baptized. We are sent by the one who God revealed to that you are the son of man. He said, let us come let, and ask you, are you the one? Hmm? You will sit out. You will sit out. Are you the one? Hmm? You see many sons doubting our father, Professor Lisko Daniel, and say, is he the one? No, it's not, he's not the one. You know, I can see for myself. Eh? Going and consult. Here, yeah, John the Baptist, because doubt creeps in, because troubles came into him. He doubted what he preached about. Because he said, I come to make a way. There's one that is coming, but when one has come, he still doubts that this one has come. But the one who has come,
come, tell his disciple and say, go and tell him that the miracle, the signs that I'm, I'm, I'm doing, they are testifying. They are the one who answer. Huh? Huh? Are the miracles, signs and wonders that our father, Professor Soko Daniel is doing, not testifying in you, that is the one. No matter what, no one has ever given grass to people. No one has ever turned petrol into pineapple juice. He must be the Messiah. Yeah. Hmm? Do you see the similarity? The word of God says, let's be the imitator. Let's follow him. Let's follow him. Let's not follow what is not from the above. Let's not follow what is beneath because we know that the earth is beneath. We know that the demons are beneath. We know that ancestral spirits are beneath. We know that some gomas are beneath. They do not have the power. They cannot forgive sins. They cannot wash your sins. <laughs> Uh, they will tell you, go and take the same grass that was eaten and people get delivered. They say, eat it. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Let's look at the thing. Let's look at the author and the finish of God. <laughs> The word of God says he is the supremacy of all creation. I love the word. I love the word. He is the supremacy of all creation. You know, when I was at the hospital, I was in the shop. Hallelujah. The word came alive. The water was, was flowing. And I was saying to myself, who knows where this water is coming from? Hmm? We have not heard any scientist who says, here's the formula of water. Hmm? We do not know where it's coming from. We do not know where it's going. And I said, ah, it must be the Christ. Now I'm drinking Christ. Now I'm breathing Christ. I look at the significance of the word. Water is something that when it's lack in your body, you dehydrate, you die. Hmm? Look at the creation, the plants. Né? If they lack water, they die. So it's something that you live with. Even the scientists have proved that. But where is it coming from? If we read the book of Revelation 22, it speaks about the river of water that is flowing direct from the throne. It says this water will bubble out of your belly. Hey. Oh, the word of God is awesome. Hallelujah. Is that not the Christ? It's a Christ. It is Christ. Hmm? It says that this, this river, hey, this river has got mystery. Because this river has got a tree of life. A tree that is giving fruits different kinds. It's live, it's great, it's got heat. Hallelujah. It's got supplication. You cannot get hungry because there's fruits to eat each and every month, month from this tree. Huh? There's this river that is flowing through the city from the throne, carrying life. That is Christ. Hmm? Carrying what? Life. We are the seed. For you to benefit in this revelation, you must imitate him. 
You must be like him. You must eat him. You must live him. You must walk him. The other day, you were preaching about I can where, where you were preaching, John was testifying about Jesus. He said, uh, we know him. As we know him, as we walk with him, as we sit with him, as we dine with him, the disciple of Christ, hallelujah, they know him, they've touched him, they walk with him, they ate with him. Hallelujah. They slept with him. They prayed with him. So there is no way we can believe that there is no existence of Christ. There are those that say it's a higher power. Hmm? God of the universe. But it's not Christ. It's the higher power. Hallelujah. He says he's the, uh, on collusion, he is a supremacy of all creation. Let's imitate him for everything to be created. It has to go through him. He has to okay it. Amen. Amen. He has to okay it. That is why God says, let's make men. Let's, because he has to okay it. Hallelujah. That is the supremacy of all universe, of all creation. This is not the supremacy of heaven. No. Hear me well. Heaven is created. Earth is created. Just tell me, where was he? Hallelujah. When he created earth, he was where? Are you crying to go to heaven? You might as well cry to him on earth. Hallelujah. Because he says, the word says, uh, he is the supremacy. Hmm? All things was created through him. Ah. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Are you blessed? Are you blessed? Do not doubt. Imitate him. Hallelujah. Be imitators. He dwell in this boat. When you see that, ah, yes, the miracle and this sign testify that he is with God. Imitate that person. Hmm? Imitate Professor Lisefo Daniel. Amen. Hallelujah. He mistakes Elisak or Daniel because he has never, ever, ever, hallelujah, not feed us the word. Imitate Maria Ita Woodward. Hallelujah. The miracle, the sign says it all. Hmm? The miracles, the sign says it all. The word of God says Maria Ita Woodward will come and enter the hall and just worship. And then people will just freeze. Hallelujah. They took needles. They prickled the people. Hallelujah. They want to wake them up. The people will freeze. Amen. That is the power of the word. They are skeptical people. Hallelujah. Those people, they should not discourage you. Those people can be skeptical, but they are watching you. Hallelujah. They want to see the revelation. They want to see the sign. They want to see Christ. Hmm. Says to exist. Amen. Christ must be revealed. Amen. Hmm. Hmm. You serve to exist. You die to self. Hmm? You die to self. Hallelujah. And let Christ be revealed and Christ known. Uh, to, to, uh, Paul is saying here. Can you read, Sister Amos? First Corinthians chapter 11, verse 1. Follow my example. 
as I follow the example of Christ. Mm. Mm. Continue. Verse 2. Mm. I praise you for remembering me in everything mm. and for holding to the traditions just as I pass them on to you. Amen. He acknowledged the fact that they remember him. <laughs> Oh, there are people that he called sons. Eh? They, 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 they are your son, but they will never remember you. <laughs> Hallelujah. They will never. Hallelujah. Amen. They will never say, eh, Father, I acknowledge Apostle Chris. Yeah? What is Paul saying? I thank you. I thank you for remembering me. I Thank you for remembering me. I thank you because you imitate me as I imitate Christ. These signs, wonder, they testify that I imitate Christ. You cannot doubt that. Hallelujah. In one city, they killed Paul. They beat Paul and Paul died. They throw him out of the seats. Hallelujah. And Paul resigned. Hallelujah. They were shocked. And when Paul woke up, he said, let's go back. Ah. <laughs> Paul is saying, imitate me. When the months come, don't say I'm turning away. I say I'm going back. I'm preaching the Christ. The signs, the wonders, say it all to you. You've been prayed for. You were sick. Hallelujah. You were very sick. You couldn't breathe. You couldn't speak. Apostle prayed for you. Those signs should testify to you that Christ is here. Hmm? Things were closed. Doors were shut. Do you remember him? Or are you like uh, 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 the, the, the brothers of Jesus Christ? Quickly run to John 7 from this one. The brothers of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. John the Baptist asked, is he the one? Christ didn't say, hey, I'm a son of God. Me, He didn't carry rank. I'm a son of God. Tell him I'm coming from heaven. He says these signs and wonders cannot be done from below. Hallelujah. Go and tell him these signs and wonder. They are testifying that I'm from above. And they are saying who I am. Amen. Hallelujah. Can you put your hands up? This one. This one. After this, Jesus went around in Galilee. Mm. He did not want to go about in Judea mm. because the Jewish leaders there were looking for a way to kill him. They wanted to kill him. They wanted to kill you. Hmm? They might be looking for you to kill you. Hmm? Yes, continue. Verse 2. Hmm. But when the Jewish festival of hmm. the Pentecost was near, the festival is near. Hmm. Jesus' brothers said to him, The brothers, listen to the brothers. Leave Bali and uh, go to Judea. Uh, what did they say? Leave Bali. And go to <laughs> they are giving instruction. They are giving the Christ instruction. Eh? They say you must leave Judea and go to Galilee. Listen. Mm. Verse 3. Mm. Jesus' brother said to him, mm. leave Galilee and go to Judea mm. so that the disciples there may see the works of the Lord. Ah, give this place, my friend. Huh? Go to be seen there by your disciples. Hmm? Live here. There is places that when you are a minister, Joe practical places where God plays, where God says, Here, yeah, I want to reveal myself to you. Amen. Then you listen to them who will come as prophetic. They will say, this place is a dry place. 
leave this place, go to that place. Amen. Can you go on? First of all, no one who wants to become a public figure acts in secret. Mm. Since you are doing these things, mm. show yourself to the world. Mm. For even his own brothers did not believe in they him. They did not believe in him. He was in the in the in the in the cocoon. God uh, uh, working with him. Hallelujah. Not yet time for him to go out. Now they say go out. You know what? He was already performing miracles. They had enough of what he was performing. The little one. Hallelujah. Laying of hands. It was enough for them. He lay hands and people are healed. It was enough. He didn't know that I must look from above. There are rivers that are flowing from above. There are mysteries. Hallelujah. From his own house, so they say, no, you cannot live. We want to see if you can do this miracle in church. <laughs> huh? Move from also go to George. Huh? <laughs> so that people can see you there. Skeptics. Hallelujah. When you read the chapter, it says, uh, uh, Jesus said, it's not yet my time. But you, it's always your time. Because in you, there's no mandates. You are not given any mandates. If you are a child of God, you carry the mandate. Ah, man, you listen to the voice from above because you don't want to walk amiss. Hmm. That's right. That's right. The Pharisees wanted to keep. They say, how can you proclaim that is a son of God? How many bishops, how many pastors are online criticizing the man of God, trying to kill this vision that God put in you? It will not succeed. Because you are not alone. If you walk with him, if you imitate him, if you look from above, Hmm? You will not go astray. Amen. You will not go astray. They say they humiliate him. So, ah, okay, we saw. Hmm. Now, these people here that you are laying, uh, oh, like, let everyone see you there. Hmm? Let everyone see you. Hallelujah. When we read, we read that the, 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 uh, eventually he went, but they could not see him. We read that he healed someone who was lame on the Sabbath day. They criticized him, but them, they were circumcised on the Sabbath day. Be careful, don't listen to voices. Hallelujah. Listen only to him. He is the author and the finisher. Hmm? You start your journey, you finish your journey. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. He is the supremacy of God. Remember that. When the enemy comes like a flood, the supremacy will raise the standards against the enemy. You will never be disappointed because you imitate him. You, you, you are aware that he is with you. And you do not doubt like John the Baptist. Hmm? He revealed himself to John the Baptist. And John the Baptist said, yeah, he's the lamb. Hmm? Takes away. Who takes away the sins of the world? Apostle. Later on, he comes and says, go and ask his real name. Oh, my God. I know. Is it really that uh, apostle eh, who was de delivered the trouble? <laughs> Is it really him? <laughs> but they were there watching. Eh? <laughs> they were there watching. Oh, Is it really him? 
Hallelujah. <laughs> the knowing and understanding that Christ is the supremacy and Christ manifests to men. Amen. You not hear a voice that said, Oh, I'm here, I'm Christ. Uh, then the Bible won't be true. Because the Bible said the dwelling, the dwelling of God <laughs> is now with men. Hmm? They overcame through the word of their testimony and the blood of the Lamb. Hallelujah. You look at John 14. John 14. He said, I'm going to prepare a place in the heavens. <laughs> If you look at Revelation 5 and John 14, you, you read it together. Heaven is there crying. Who will open the book? This scroll is still. Him in, on earth, he is saying, I'm going. I have to go and open the scene. <laughs> they are saying, no, don't leave us. Don't leave us. He says, I had to go. In my father's house, there are many men. Many men. In heaven, who will open? Even John was taken there and the eyes were open. He cried. No one could open. Him himself, he could not open. But he's seeing it. Huh? He's seeing it. The elders were sitting down. Hmm? They could not open until John was taken into a higher level. Things you've been raised. Yeah. The new things. He said, see. Immediately, he disappeared there with the disciple. He went home, he was still. But this time, when he is seen, it's different than the disciples. Mm. He's seen like a lamb was slain. Mm? They say, yes, the lamb. What is that? You went through the cross. Hallelujah. You went through the cross. The marks, the, the, the appearance of him showed that he is from the cross. Testify. That's why he says to, to John, the, 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 what I'm doing, the signs and wonders, they are the ones speaking. Not me identifying myself who I am. Even in heaven, when they were sitting on the throne, he appeared like a lamb who has been slain. You could tell that, yeah, he carried our sins. He took them away. Believe the one who is from above. He was, I hope you are blessed with this message. As you continue imitating, as you continue loving him, he can never disappoint you. When situation come hard, when situation come left, right, center, look unto him. Hmm? Look unto him. <laughs> At your workplace, when you are uh, uh, something to talk about, something to laugh about, something who's nothing. At your family, Huh? At your school, look unto him. He is not with you. Those are the signs that is with you. Because the minute everyone loves you, ask yourself a question: What did I do wrong? Don't say I did something. Hallelujah! Don't please anyone. Look unto him. Look for from above. The disciples, when they look at him, they cry, that is going to the Father. They say, show us the way to the Father. They were looking from below. They were, looking, they were not looking where John is and is crying. Who's going to open the scroll? Oh, God, give me power to open it. They do not know that everything has been distant. In the beginning, he was there. He is the supremacy of all creation. Amen. Everything has been predestined. Hallelujah. Your life is also predestined. As you listen to this message, 
I declare blessing. I declare favor. I declare that God must open your eyes to see the mysteries in him. I declare the full knowledge of revelation of God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Not knowing the Father, you deny the, 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 the Son. Not knowing the Son, deny the works of the Holy Spirit. Because the Holy Spirit is like a wind. You do not know where it's coming from. You do not know where it's going. Amen. It's like when I have my meditation about God, no one where it's going. It's coming. We are just eating, it's drinking. Hallelujah. Because we don't want to be dehydrated. Hmm? If you don't want to be dehydrated spiritually, eh? imitate him. Walk with him. Sit with him, sing with him, praise him. You are blessed too. Thank you. Please clap hands as I give you. Thank God. Bless God. Thank God for this wonderful, wonderful, refreshing time. What a refreshing word. Uh, what a beautiful, beautiful message. Uh, we thank God that many hearts have received this complete grace. We thank God that many hearts have received this word from our book. Uh, we, we thank you so much, uh, Spirit of our Father. Thank you so much for allowing yourself to feed us. We are truly fed. We were fed. We were fed. We were fed. Let's just appreciate the Father. Also, our blessed saint, as the world has been taught and rich, we believe that your heart has received. And it's also of the potency that we humbly say and request for those who are yet to give their life to Christ. Uh, Jesus said it is important for you to be born again. One hear this message and did not submit to one receive this word and refuse to give his or her life to Christ is calling a miss as the uh, the, this, uh, the preacher said you call because you because you you know you are to call but when you call your call is not hacked into and your call is not welcome your call is not received it's because you have Call it a, a missed call, meaning you do not qualify to make that call. You are living a life of unrighteous. Only righteousness pleases the Father. Righteousness pleases the Father. This word brings obedience. They may be going through challenges, may be going through issues, but this word sets free. If you believe in it, it will set you free. If you believe in it, it will set you free. I love you so much when you when you touch Colossians 3. Thank you so much when you touch Colossians 3. Because he said, set your mind. Please. If then you receive this word, then set your mind. So the moment one, one mind is not set on this one, one is not in right standing with God. See, the, the moment one mind is not on, on, on things from above, on things of God, meaning your mind should be on the things that consign God, things of God. Things of God. What are the things of God? Righteousness. Peace, joy, the things of God. Stop finding yourself in the places of arguments. Stop entertaining things. Stop uh, entertaining <coughs> the, uh, the unpleasant, unpleasant things. So you heard the word right now and you want to give your life to God. You want to serve him in truth and in spirit. We will lead you to Christ right now. We will lead you to Christ. We will lead you to Christ right now. Also remember that you are blessed to bless others, you are safe to save others. Many in your household that are not uh, born again yet, you can also help them. You can also help them. You want them to be born again. You want them to be born again. You want, born, you want them to be born again. One of the truths, one of the lights. When this opportunity comes, and you pray along with us, pray for them also. 
Because when you are praying, yes, salvation is personal. You are obtaining salvation on the only behalf. Because as you are praying, you have them in your memory. The word searches the heart. The word searches all things. The word that you are confessing to, it searches out. Yes, you are saved, but you are saving others. You are saving others. So right now, uh, join us as we are going to be leading uh, with the salvation prayer. Say, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I read your word. I receive your word. Your word is spirit. Your word is life. I've received it in my heart. Lord Jesus, you laid down your life for me on the cross of Calvary. You rose again on the third day to give me life, the abundant life. Thank you for this life. Thank you for this wonderful life. Father, wash me with your precious prevailing blood that I may be white and than stone. Save my soul today. I believe in your word. And I believe in my heart. And I confess with my mouth that you are my Lord. You are my Savior. You are my Redeemer. You are my Restorer. I am no longer a sinner. I am cleansed. I am purified. I am satisfied to remain in your presence. Thank you for this wonderful life. Lord Jesus, write down my name in the book of life where there is abundant life and no condemnation. I am no longer condemned. I am no longer a sinner. I am born again, born anew to do the will of God on earth. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Hallelujah. You are born again to do the will of God here yeah, on earth. I love you so much. Thank you so much for that beautiful word. Revelation 21 also. Wow. You really touch, touch us, eh? For that short, short, short time where you touch many, 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 many. You review many, many, many. So uh, go and meditate on this word. It is important for you to uh, continue eating this word through meditation. The word we've been fed today, you continue to eat it through meditation. So meaning your mind. You see, the moment John the Baptist, the moment he, he, his, his mind was out of what he saw, he lost it then. He, he, there was a, he, his focus, everything was shifted then. He, his mind was somewhere when he saw, and he was amazed by what he saw. He was, cap, he was captured by what he saw. But the moment, the moment he began now to think, you see that worries in that God from perfecting his will in our life. Worries. How, how, how can I be captured by this? How can God allow them? See, how can God allow me to be captured? How can God allow this to happen to me? It's not your place to ask why you go through or, or what you are going through. It's not your place to question God. Never for any time in your life question the integrity of God. Many loses that. Many belittle the grace of God daily in their life. Questioning the things of God. Jesus never at any point in time. Look, look at what we received. John 7. His brother, they were offering a way out. Okay? Nobody gets it. Nobody gets to the position of president by 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 staying in his bedroom. No, you must go to places where you'll be seen so that they will vote for you. No, 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 no. We don't go according to the ways or according to the thought or according to the, the will of God. No. You go according to the will of God. That's why you must not uh, always listen to the voices of, of men. Don't communicate our hearts. A heart that is pure. Right now, your heart is pure. God speaks to your heart. And when you hold that word and you meditate co continually in that word, you will see the manifestation of the word that God is speaking to you. You will see it manifesting. Psalm 91 says, with your eyes, you will see. You will see it manifesting with your eyes. 
So once again, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. You so much. We we are really fed. We are really fed by the word. The same thing, we are really fed. We thank God. So right now we are going to uh declare a uh, weekly declaration. Uh, our fasting still continue tomorrow, so there won't be a, a, a Bible session tomorrow. It will resume when we are done with the fasting. I don't know when we'll be done with the fasting. I don't know. I, I can't say it's going to end tomorrow or today. Someone was asking me if this fasting is ending today. I said, fasting never ends. With our Father, it's one continuous day. It never ends. It's one continuous day. We remain in it. It's not something we just start only in January and February. It continues. It continues. It continues. It's one continuous day. Why days are evil? To remain in one continuous day so that evil does not come to you. Say days are evil. Why would you want to enter into the days that are evil? Remain in one continuous day. So, uh, but we believe that uh, we will be able to uh, find time to continue to uh, be refreshed. Uh, also, I want to acknowledge uh, our brothers and our sisters also, uh, Prophet Pastor Onali Netani, uh, Prophet Raymond, uh, Prophet Michael, uh, Divine Eunice, uh, and everyone who have been uh, here with us, uh, spiritually, physically, you've been here with us, we've been together. Thank you for sharing on your pages, on social media. Thank, thanks for all those who have been following Thank you so much. Thank you so much. We, uh, we truly appreciate the beautiful gesture. Uh, it is truly one from uh, one part from the oneness of the Father. Uh, we uh, we truly appreciate uh, your 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 kindness. We truly appreciate uh, sharing the messages. Uh, this is the message of our Father. It's not our message. You know, it's not your message. It's not our message. It's the message from above. So we are doing the work of the Father together. Thank you so much. We appreciate you all. Uh, so Mr. Saint, as we are going to declare right now, we are going to declare and we'll go off air and we'll meet again 2 p.m. at Rabboni Center Ministries to continue with the day service. Also, I appreciate all the boys and girls yesterday uh, for the beautiful, beautiful messages and teachings. I will continue again next weekend with them. So uh, so right now, uh, let's just hope, uh, st uh, stretch our hands and uh, make the declaration. We are declaring what is in our hearts. And they said, out of the heart of abundance, the mouth shall speak. So we trust the Father, who is always active at work. Uh, this is just the sermon that we receive, that we are declaring. It's a, something that you think is close. So the mind of below thought is close. But it, it has already gone to open for our sake. Say, for your sake, I have to go. For your sake, I have to go and open. So it has been open. And we declare over your life right now, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, the book of life has been opened up for you. And what you have received today, we declare it to remain permanent over your life. May the Lord of glory continue to bless you all the more. May your life continue to be transformed into the fullness. May what you have received cause you to remain and to have divine fellowship May what you have seen and what you've heard continue to take you into the right place. May no voices from below come and steal from you. May no voices from below hinder you from where God is taking you. We pray for your loved ones. We pray for your families. We pray for your well wishers. And we continually to cover them with the precious prevailing blood of the Father. As you go out in your various working stations, the word of the Lord had gone ahead of you leveling mountain of human obstacles, strengthening every crooked pathways. Your footprint will never be stolen. Your footprint will never be snatched. Wherever you go, the blessing of the Lord accompanies you. The signs and wonder that speaks to unbelievers accompanies you wherever you go. It will continue to speak of you to death. No evil raises against you will prevail. No evil thought against you will prevail over your life. We put on your body the mark of Christ, the prevailing mark of Christ, where nothing, nothing, nothing from below will come near your life. Your life is blessed. Your health is restored. Your home is restored. Your family is blessed. Your marriage is secured. Your finances is secured. I declare right now, 
whatever form of businesses that you are busy with right now, and you are longing for a breakthrough, I pray for you right now. The hand of the Lord will prosper you. The hand of the Lord prosper your business. The hand of the Lord prosper your business. May your income increase. I pray for your income to be increased. I pray for your family to be blessed. I pray for your income to be increased. I pray that your life continue to receive from the divine, from above, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I pray for satisfaction upon you right now. I pray for contentment over your life in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We declare you blessed. We declare your home blessed. We declare your life blessed. We pray for your children right now. Whatever your children are, whatever they may be, we pray for them right now. The hand of the Lord is upon their life. We cover them with the blood of Christ. No evil come against them. We prevail over their life in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The love of God is upon you. This week, you will continue to prevail. You will continue to prosper. You will continue to remain in one continuous day. Strengthen against all adversity. Strengthen against all sorrows. For the joy of the Lord will continue to strengthen you against every adversity, every challenges, every fundamental issues of life. The joy of the Lord will continue to strengthen you against it all. May the love of God continue to overshadow you. I pray against, against every evil nightmare that has been projected against your life. Every evil nightmare that has been used against you, every weapon of the enemy that has been used against you, that has been plot, scheme, plan against you, against your well-being, against your health, against your marriage, against your ministry, against your family, against your home, against your finances, I pray against it. Nothing done against you, nothing fashioned against you, nothing forges against you, nothing formed against you will prevail over you. We declare you untouchable in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The Lord loves you. The Lord is with you. Remain blessed in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to our Father. Glory to our King. Hallelujah. Let's just say it. We love you so much. Thank you. We thank you all. We thank you all. And if you, if God has placed it in your heart to give to this ministry, uh, if, God has placed, if God has placed it in your heart, you can use those numbers. There are numbers that are appearing right there on, on the messages of Facebook. You can use any of those two numbers and we'll tell you and put you out to put how to go through about it. So we thank God for one continuous blessed day. Uh, we thank God for revealing himself. We thank God for everything that he's doing in our lives. And we thank God for giving us the shepherd from our book. For the second day. So I'd like to thank all our brothers, all our sisters. Thank you so much. We love you all. We love you all. Thank you to our uh, Apostle Jazri. Thank you so much. Thank you to everybody. Thank you so much. Wonderful, 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 wonderful. So, blessed say, uh, from us is to God be the glory. We love you. Stay and remain blessed. Stay and remain blessed. In Jesus' mighty name.